In today's video, we test out a powerful mouse trap from Germany that claims to be the world's toughest traps. And the mice we catch in those traps have a huge surprise. Then we feed the mice to wild animals in the backyard. And at the end, I answer questions in my new filming studio. So stay tuned, this is gonna be good. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna test out what claims to be the world's toughest traps. That's a pretty bold claim. They're called Gorilla Traps. But don't leave hate comments down below. They're not for catching gorillas. They're for catching mice. They make these traps in Germany and I've been trying to get my hands on them for a while now. And thanks to some generous YouTube viewers who sent me a shipment, I now have them. So let's remove the Gorilla Traps from the box and see what they look like. Here it is. Now this is a very similar style trap to one we've seen. I've already featured the Catch All 2, also known as Snappy. Now I'm showing this trap because it was first patented by Lester Ness of Granger, Indiana on December 8th, 1987. And in the first model, the trap had a round trigger, but later it was redesigned to look like this. This is the modern Snappy. And it's one of the most copied mousetrap designs out there. Victor has one they call the power K word. Can't really say that word on YouTube, but it's a four letter word for dispatching mice. Basically the exact same design. There's also a lot of off brands. Here's one called Super Cat. And clearly some German inventors borrowed the design to make the Gorilla Trap. Even though they look the same, this newer version has some additional features. It appears to be made out of a much more strong and durable plastic. Also, there's a spring under the trigger. That way it pushes the trigger up and makes it very consistent in how it's set. We'll go ahead and pull back the kill bar. It's all ready to go, except for the bait. Now right in the middle it says, save cheese, use Nara. This trap came with some Nara. What that is, is a synthetic mouse bait. Hold this down and put it right in the middle. You could use peanut butter, cheese, or the Nara product it came with if it's right there. Has kind of a sweet smell to it. The idea is the mouse will want the bait, come along, push the trigger. Man, that has a lot of power. I'd say the spring is about double the power of the regular trap. This mouse trap's approved for use by the German government according to EU standards. I didn't even know there were standards for traps, but apparently the EU has set regulations, specifications, requirements for mouse traps. And the gorilla traps meet those standards, but I'm curious how well they work on real mice. Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn, see if the mice will come along, go for the Nara bait, step on the trigger, and get caught. We're gonna set our trap along this wall. Gorilla traps advise that you set it facing the wall, like this. That way when mice travel down the wall, they'll find the bait and get caught. Now we just need to set up the motion cameras.
I learned so much about mouse traps by setting up the trail cameras. I tried five different locations and caught three mice. The only times I didn't catch mice are when I used the Nara as bait. I had much better luck putting peanut butter in the cup. Now one thing I noticed about this trap with the spring on the trigger is it only goes off when a mouse is lined up with the bar. That way you're not missing mice. If the trigger is too sensitive they might come along and trip it and get away. Now another thing that's really important is we have to catch the mice when they come in our homes because they have parasites. Two of the mice we caught were hosts. One had a great big botfly maggot living under its flesh. This was feeding, growing bigger. Soon it will metamorphosize and pupate, form a hard shell similar to a cocoon, and then a fly will emerge. And also ticks. This is really scary. Ticks carry Lyme disease. Look at how fully engorged this is. The mice could enter your house, the tick climb off, and look for a host coming after you. I don't want these anywhere in my house, near my children, my family. Lyme disease, botfly parasites, no way. On top of these, mice and rats have fleas and disease. Hantavirus, Lyme disease, all scary stuff. So mice may be cute, but they're really dangerous. Well, I don't want the three mice we caught to go to waste. So I'm going to go set them up in the backyard with motion cameras, see what comes along, and enjoys a mouse snack provided by the gorilla traps. Well, last night in the backyard, it was a race to get the mice and the opossum got there first. It gobbled down the meal. A crazy thing about opossums are they're so good at cleaning themselves, they're pretty much immune to ticks. They pick them off and eat them. So it's actually good to have some opossums around to reduce the tick numbers. Later, a skunk came by. One of the cameras, it was pretty foggy, but it ate the mouse. Then went to the other place and ate the other mouse. The raccoons came last. It might be raccoon breeding season. They were acting pretty funny or they're just fighting. But I love seeing what comes along in the backyard and eats the rodents we catch in our traps. That's why I don't use poison. If you use poison, you might kill wild animals or pets. So many things love to eat the mice. Okay, for question and answer time, I'm gonna follow up in my last video where I worked on the studio, try to make it look more like a barn. The top comments were, I received hundreds of these. People said they liked the background with the barn wood, but they thought the table looked too white, didn't fit in. So I got a new table, one with natural wood. Hopefully it fits in, looks more like a barn. Another comment I got was they didn't like my black shirt. So I'm wearing a light colored shirt. So many people said with the dark background, the black shirt didn't look good. Also they said add shelves so you could set up mouse traps, make the background more interesting. That's what I tried to do. I'm gonna do show and tell each week. For this week for show and tell, I have some deer antlers. Now I'm not a trophy hunter, but I was able to shoot a deer last week and the best part about it was my family joined me on the trip. 
I love going out to Central Oregon and looking for deer. I've been doing it my whole life. But to me, the real trophy is the meat. We spent the day butchering the deer, wrapping the best cuts of meat, and also feeding the meat grinder. We were able to get over 40 pounds of hamburger. That's a lot of meals to feed my family organic, natural, wild meat. Tastes so good. Also, this week, it was my birthday. A couple weeks back, people asked what was my favorite cut of meat. Well, my favorite meal of all time is a T-bone steak. I get it once a year on my birthday. My wife also makes spaghetti squash cooked with Parmesan cheese. Oh man, and chicken broth rice. And a surf and turf, shrimp sauteed in butter and green beans. My all-time favorite meal. And for dessert, I'm not a cake guy, but I love pie. My favorite is strawberry rhubarb pie. If you want to see how my wife makes pie, we posted a video several years ago. I'll put a link at the end of the video. There we made blackberry pie using lard from a black bear. Sounds crazy, but it's really good. Check out the video. And let me know what you think of the new studio. I don't know what I'm doing with filming. I'm learning as I go, and I love the comments and suggestions. So if you have any other ideas, leave a comment. Let me know how I can make this better. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right here. I posted over 500 videos on Mousetrap Monday, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.